After three helpless days at sea, the nearly 1,000-foot-long Carnival Splendor was pushed and pulled through San Diego's harbor. Most of the more than 3,000 passengers lined up on decks and balconies while the ship was nudged up to the pier. There was obvious relief that three days of cold showers and cold food was over. No more sandwiches, please. As passengers got off into a crowd of cameras and reporters, they told how early Monday morning the ship trembled, then lost all its power. It actually just felt like an earthquake, and everything just started shaking and rumbling, and, um, and I turned to Mark and I said, this is not right. The smell of smoke began to fill the huge ship. They just said there was lots of smoke, lots of smoke, but no fire. Chris Harlan grabbed his video camera as smoke poured up, apparently from the engine room. I can't be good. Passengers were told to evacuate their rooms, but an announcement over the ship's PA system tried to be reassuring. There's really no need to be by the lifeboats at the moment. So. Life on board was transformed from luxurious to lousy. Was it an adventure or was it terrible? It was camping on the ocean and I hate camping. <laughs> it started smelling like, like rotten milk. People were hoarding. We'd go down for breakfast and just grab a whole bunch of you know, fruit and boxes of cereal and stuff because we didn't want to go stand in you know, two or three hour line for lunch. Carnival Cruise Line says everyone will get their money back plus a free cruise if they want it. In our 35 years, we've never had anything that's happened to this to this level. But the company has not yet identified the cause. The National Transportation Safety Board is now investigating. Cruise industry critic Jack Hickey says any shipboard fire can quickly turn into a disaster. Cruise ships can certainly be fire traps because, again, cruise ships are isolated. They're out on the ocean and there's no place to go. But it seems for most of these passengers, the biggest disaster was the food. I never saw a green bean salad, sandwich before. I never saw hot dog salad. salad. I, I never, it was a lot hot of things. Hot dog that, salad? Yeah. Bread with some beets and some cheese. <laughs> yeah. Mystery meats. Yeah. Almost every passenger we talked to praised the crew for making the best of a bad situation. For the many on board who were marking special occasions like their honeymoon or their anniversary, they'll now remember the date for being stuck at sea. Katie? John Blackstone in San Diego. John, a happy ending relatively, so thanks very much.